Hello friends, welcome to Beyond 20's YouTube channel. My name is Neelam Patel and I am a solution consultant with Beyond 20. In today's video, we will see how to create a report in ServiceNow. So we can create uh, many different kind of report, for example, KPIs for incident, for change, for problem. So any kind of report we can create using the report module in ServiceNow. So for that, what we will do is we will type reports in the left uh, filter navigation and we will be able to see the report module so if at all if you are not be able to see this report module in the left navigation then reach out to the admin and uh, ask for the itil um, uh, access so you will be able to see the report modules uh, on your instance so now let's click on the uh, view run or create new to create the new report so right now we are seeing all the reports for groups we can see based uh, the reports based on our group and then again uh, we can see all these columns over here we can um, definitely sort those as well there are some global out of the box reports in here and with all we will be able to see all the reports that includes my reports plus global or my group all the reports so now let's go ahead and click on the create a report and in this video we will create a um, report for the change and uh, we will see uh, uh, based on the different criteria so let's see let's give it a name as change report uh, for the source time we uh, type we will keep the table and then uh, for the table we will select the change request table so if if at all if there are some confusion uh, on ch uh, choosing the table then again uh, we can reach out to admin uh, to get the help on choosing the table so now let's click on the next uh, now uh, it says type so there are many different types there are bars and then time series again pies and donuts and then multi-dimensional reports others by default uh, the list type is selected in service now so let's keep it and then click on next so as soon as we uh, check the uh, table and uh, data and uh, we are able to see there are 100 uh, changes uh, that is coming in this report so now let's go to next and let's configure this um, report so for the columns we can select over here and we can add or delete any fields that we want and uh, we can keep what we want we can remove what we do not want now uh, so this is more of a generic report if we want to get uh, the more uh, defined report more detailed report then we can apply additional filters so in this case let's uh, select the group by so, for example, we want to see uh, how many change are active right now. So, let's click on the active So when and click on run. So, we will see there are 11 active changes and eight, uh, 89 active changes and 11 are not active in the system. We can also uh, again furthermore apply filters based on the assigned to or assignment group. So let's click on the assignment group and then run. So we will be able to see uh, the changes based on the assignment group. We can also do based on the status. So when we select status or state in the filter and run, we will be able to see all different changes with all different states of, the, of those particular change so this is how we can create a report in service now and let me show you one more thing for the type we can de um, even after creating the report we can definitely change the type of the report if you don't want to keep this form then let's say click on the pyramid so we will be able to see the report based on the pyramid and we will also be able to see the color so and at the bottom we have all the description based on the color we can also select let's select pie 
and run so we'll be able to see that report in the pie form or we can also select bar run and then there are bars so this uh, this is how we can apply uh, different filters data types and we can uh, also choose different types configure the report based on the criteria so uh, we can also export this report let's say for example we have a list form of the report and then if we want to export then do right click and then export in excel or xml so basically uh, on the left navigation type reports and then click on the create new or view run and then start exploring thank you for watching this video we will see you in next video